are in Napa Valley, Silverado Resort, and my Ferrari made it, but, you know, it was a little too nice for me anyway. Here we are, I mean, covered in ash from uh, the forest fires. I don't know where they are, but this, like, if you see the cars. All right. I'm not going to wipe it off there, but I'll wipe it off the glass. That's all ash from the forest fires. But it went well. A little scare early on. Um, I had uh, 30 miles outside of Vail, so just as we started, the car acted up on me. And, like, remember, no service history, low miles. Uh, and then the first thing you know, I'm driving down the highway on I-70, and the thing pops out of gear. Check this out. All right, got a little bit of problem. Uh, I've been going very far. Let's pull over here. I got a blinking beep beep into neutral. And I got that dreaded. That's like a clutch, uh, clutch light. There's no reason it should be overheating, but let me do a quick, uh, quick on and off on this. Probably about 50 miles in, but... Went away, which is good, but let's uh. Alright, do a quick cycle on this and see what happens. Let me just tell everybody why we're pulling over. Alright, quick uh, restart, and it looks like we're good to go. Who knows, these things get so finicky. Like, it's maybe it's just something, it could be a clutch position sensor. Who knows, but. Got the uh, time to roll out, but we'll see if it acts up again. Uh, the problem is we're going into no man's land for Ferrari. I think uh, maybe Sedona, but uh, likely the, the next service opportunity would be um, would be Vegas. But even then, you're talking. Uh, Let's see, we're talking, uh, if it is like a clutch position sensor, it's probably gonna be, I don't think they can do that without taking the engine out, which sucks. We're not even taking the engine out, but it's like a long job. Well, here we go, let's see what happens. All right, so you saw that, it wasn't too bad. Uh, that was the only hiccup I had all week, functionality-wise, on the car. The car didn't have any other trouble uh, throwing engine codes or anything and that's talking some significant heat but next up driving down the road doing let's just say 90 miles an hour and road debris gator bite Whoosh. that was my pristine front bumper and hit straight underneath there Right. Damage my Ferrari. Where, where were you looking? What's that? You didn't jump out in the middle of the road. Was it, was, it was right in the middle of the road. I wasn't looking, I was looking at her. <laughs> and that was the only really other major incident on the car all week. Uh, it was pretty flawless, obviously. It was a little too nice for me. So I figured I'd drive it 2,000 miles and jack it up a little bit. Uh, other than, and so again, no drivability. Other than the ash on it, which I'll I'll just we'll clean off when we get back. The only other stuff I did to it that uh, annoyed me a little bit was why do people throw? I le I left the top down and people threw chocolate in my car. I don't know why they do that. Like chocolate? I mean I, I like Andy's mints. Don't get me wrong, but like who throws stuff in people's cars? This was at the restaurant I was at last night. Um, I guess you just want to be cool. Hey, let me throw some stuff in that Ferrari. And that's, uh, I dropped some right there. Those are frosted flakes uh, because we ate them and then the little crumbs spilled out. Uh, let's see here. Andy's mints. So here's what I did. So my camera was here. This seemed like an appropriate place to do it. And I mean, I can, I may be able to clean this off a little bit, but uh, that's scuffed up a little bit. And then this sort of annoyed me. I guess I caught it with uh, another one of my cameras. 
because that e-brake handle was perfect. Um, so I'll see if I can get this sanded down and then back to perfect. But other than that, uh, the car held up very well. It was uh, cleaner when I got it. Let's get this. So that's melted chocolate, gross. Let's make sure we got all that out of here so it doesn't melt in my car. There's another one down there. Really, if you throw stuff in somebody's car because the convertible top's down, you're a dick. But, um, yeah, I mean, those, those are the only nicks and marks from the week. Uh, obviously, the front bumper will be repainted. But other than that, no curved wheels, nothing like that. For the driving that we did, held up very well. Uh, now it's going on a transport back to New York. And I would consider that a successful week. Uh, I know a lot of people don't drive their cars. This car wasn't driven more than about 800 miles a year on average. And I doubled that in my first week of ownership. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.